I trust you're now suitably warm. Some of us. Um, as Nigel can't make it, uh, I'm stepping in as director. And as you see, there's some new lines here for scene six, which I revised this morning. Well, where's the monologue you promised me? Ah, yes. Um, I'm afraid that when I came to write it, it may seem to make more sense for your character to speak more economically. Economically, I've got two lines, whereas her over there is speaking for nearly two pages straight. I promise you, I have no wish to have to learn so much. But we felt at this point in the story... Oh, we? So it's something you've both cooked up, is there it? There has been no cooking, Mary. Now, please, please, if we could just read it through all together, I think you'll find there's a big improvement. I will read it later but I'm not hanging around here watching this blatant favouritism. I'm going to the pub quiz. Goodbye. Oh, Mary! Oh, I didn't want to upset her. I know, I know. And, um, Mary can be a bit temperamental. Now, uh, shall we push on? As we've all noted, there's a lot to get through. I'm not sure I'm in the mood anymore. Perhaps a read-through on one's own is a good idea. Sorry. Uh, what just happened? You fluffed up big time. And you threw Mary under the bus too. I didn't mean to. It's not just her that's noticed you've given Wendy all the lines. The rest of the company have noticed too, including Wendy. But she's the main character. Of course she'll have the most lines. You're kidding yourself if you think that's the only reason. Just tell Wendy how you feel. I don't feel anything! And even if I did... Ha! Ah! Even if I did... Too much water has flown under the bridge between us. OK, well, if you can't face up to your feelings, at least try and back off Wendy and give the rest of us humble players a time to shine. I shall be at the pub quiz if you need me. <laughs> 